In this film, you will learn step by step how to empty your bladder. It is relatively simple, but will require some practice. Start by washing your hands thoroughly with water and soap. Remember also to wash your thumbs. Alcohol hand gel can be used if you don't have access to washing facilities. Make sure to have all the equipment you will need ready before you start the catheterization. You will need a catheter of the appropriate size and perhaps a urine bag. You will also need intimate wipes or soap with neutral pH value and water to clean your penis. A drape and a pantler may also be useful. Remove the cover label from the adhesive spot. Then attach the adhesive spot to a clean surface. The packaging must hang so that you can easily reach it when you are ready to use it. Open the upper end of the packaging by pulling the ring towards yourself and then downwards. You can also open the packaging without using the ring, but do not open it using your mouth. Only peel to the tear stop indicated by the two grey dots. Pull your clothes down so you have free access when doing the catheterization. You may use a pantler holding your clothes in place. To avoid wetting your clothes, you may place a drape under your penis. To prevent pushing bacteria into the urethra and bladder when you use the catheter, you must first clean the head of your penis properly. Gently pull the foreskin back and wash the head of the penis. To remove any bacteria that might be present at the opening of the urethra, you should wash in a circular motion starting at the urethra and working outward. Use each wipe only once. Take the catheter out of the packaging and twist the lock to open. Make sure to hold both ends of the catheter upwards to avoid spillage of the liquid inside the sleeve that covers the catheter. If you use a urine bag, you can simply connect the catheter to the urine bag to drain it. Make sure that the catheter tip does not touch anything before you enter it into the urethra. If it does, you must use a new catheter. Touching the sink or your clothes or skin, for example, will contaminate the catheter and can potentially cause infection. If you do not connect to a urine bag, empty the liquid into the toilet. Glide your fingers towards the drainage end to empty the last drops of liquid. Hold your penis pointing upwards and close to your stomach. This will ease the insertion of the catheter as the natural S-shape of the urethra will then change into a U-shape. Provide a gentle pressure to the head of your penis in order to open up the urethra, but be careful not to squeeze your penis as this may obstruct the passage of the catheter during insertion into the urethra. To help insertion of the catheter, it is important that you relax. To control insertion, softly squeeze the gripper indicated by the arrows. While supporting your penis, guide the tip of the catheter into the opening of the urethra. Once the tip is inside the urethra, make sure you hold your penis and the turquoise handle in the same hand. With your other hand, start inserting the catheter by pulling the sleeve towards the penis head. As the catheter is protected from contamination by the dry sleeve, you can take hold of the catheter at any point. Insertion is easiest if you take hold of the sleeve quite close to the penis head. Slowly and gently insert the catheter into your urethra. It is normal that you feel resistance from the sphincter, so be gentle. Continue to insert the catheter until it reaches your bladder and the urine starts to flow. Then continue for a few centimeters further. When the flow stops, move a little and straighten yourself up to make sure that the bladder is completely empty. Withdraw the catheter slowly to ensure that you drain any remaining urine at the base of your bladder. Once any additional flow of urine has finished, slowly withdraw the remainder of the catheter. Twist the lock to seal the catheter. Then put the catheter back into the packaging and close it by folding the flaps and sealing with the sticker. You can dispose of the catheter and the packaging in your household rubbish. Do not flush it down the toilet. Wash your hands and you have completed the process. Important note. 
The catheterization procedure must always be carried out under guidance from a healthcare professional. The instructions provided in this film are only intended as follow-up to the advice you have already been given.